gotta go back to that walk-in that we just put in. An intelligent, long, top and bottom unit. And I love, I actually love those things because you just uh, hook up the, your condenser, you just hook up your three-phase uh, to your contactor or whatever, however you hook it up, your three-phase uh, voltage to it. And then in the evaporator, all you do is feed, you know, your, this one was 115, so you just feed your 115 to a terminal board and it'll feed a transformer and feed your board and then it takes care of, it takes care of everything else. You can do the defrost from the control controller and everything. So I do enjoy uh, putting those in now because they're super simple. You eliminate a lot of wires. Uh, it's a cooler, but you really don't need the, the timer for defrost because you can you can do it through the controller. So that part of it's cool and it was easy to put in. But they called that it was icing up a little bit because one of the fans is not working. So, I mean, it being new, I hope it didn't give out. So we're just gonna see what, what happened. I'll get there, open it up, make sure all my wires are good, all my voltage is good, and then we'll go from there. The only bad thing is it's out of town, so I gotta drive a couple hours to get to it, and we'll see what happens. Bond. Let's see what happened. This motor's out. And it's a new unit that we just put in. Nothing weird over here. Oh, there's a plug there. Let's see what happened with the plug. All right, there's a plug. It's loose. Came off. That's weird. Uh, okay. Probably should tie strap these. Vibration, and I think it was over this brown wire. So I don't know, there might have been like some tension there. 
So I'll put it under, plug it in, and I'm going to tie strap that. And I'll do the same for this one so I don't get called back. Alright, so I don't want to do anything too crazy or hackerish. Uh, I don't see any way for me to secure this without doing too much, you know, to push it that way. It's pretty snug, it just wasn't in there all the way. And then this wire was behind it, kind of pulling on it. So I'm going to put it in real good and then kind of tie strap all this together to help it so it's not like hanging. This wire's not hanging and like pulling on it because that's how it can come off. And I'll just do the same for this one. This one stayed in real good. So I'll just tie strap these. Kind of give it a little support and we'll be good make sure all that is dry in there good And that's it, that's all it was. We'll turn it back on, just make sure the motor's still good. But it was basically unplugged. And everything's still good over here. I don't want to do anything crazy because this thing's new and it's going to be under warranty. Just securing what we can. And that should be good. And when you're on calls like this, even though it's just for this motor, I kind of did both. Just so I don't get a call back. So just try to think of what else could go wrong. And that's why I looked in here too. Nothing's burnt. Nothing's, nothing else is loose. Everything's secured nice and good. And I don't see really an issue with ice or anything. It'll melt once this fan comes back on. So let me get this back together. Since these were new, I already know where to put these. Can't tell where they go. Just putting them back where they were. And you just want to make sure they're on extra tight, so tighten it, loosen it, tighten it more. Loosen it one more time, and then go further that way you know it won't come off and you want the you know the blade and the little scoop here not 
too far in or too far out. Fan of these plastic panels. I can doubt. Okay. So I still have to go turn it on, but that's just a combination of like vibration and the wire hanging down. Since it's not supported, it's just going from the motor to the plug and it's like hanging down there instead of being tied up with the other wires so hopefully that fixes that and I'll go turn it on right now Thank you. 